Hello and welcome to another Underdogs video. And uh, I know I'm making a lot of Underdogs videos now. Um, and my channel is kind of based around Dungeons of Eternity. Maybe I'll address that in another Dungeons of Eternity video at some point. Um, but I mean, it's basically just me having really good time in Underdogs and uh, enjoying it enough to make videos about it, especially with the ease of recording that comes with PC VR as opposed to Quest. And it's not the fault of the developers of these games, of Underdogs or Dungeons of Eternity, uh, whether PC VR or Quest is easier to record on with better quality. Um, but I, I just personally prefer recording in Underdogs because uh, it's just, with PC VR, it's just so much nicer. Uh, soon it'll come to Dungeons of Eternity and that'll be great. But uh, what I'm here for is this time doing Sandboxer because I just uh, finished a run um, and I guess, yeah, had that whole run recorded and uh, just showing that I completed it is kind of cool. Um, but also it unlocks the, the Sandboxer. Actually, I think Sandboxer unlocks... Uh, you don't have to fully complete a, a run to get into Sandboxer here. Um, but yeah, so you can go to community, uh, fuck around, whatever works for you. Um, community, it's it's pretty cool that you can go to these, uh, these top community things. Like basically the community can become the developers almost um, with these custom made levels. Um, but I'm gonna go to challenges because these are the developer made levels and maybe at some point the community made levels will be so good that the developers will just put them into some of the official challenges, who knows? But for now, I, I kind of like more official stuff, <laughs> the official challenges, even though community is still cool. Um, but I'm gonna basically try to make a video on each of these and uh, yeah, just see how that goes. Um, I'm going to make the recording uh, ideally with that spectator view kind of like this, but uh, the higher FOV, so it just looks a little bit better in my opinion. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead with the ABCs, which is just demolishing every last junk dog as fast as I can. I'm not sure, I am going to try to get top dog, which I actually do have on my quest for most of these, uh, on the quest version of this game, but on Steam, I do not, so here I am trying to do it so um i'm going to you know, click on go and i think it puts me in here it doesn't automatically start the time so i got some some time to get the right spectator cam yeah so we're in here yeah i didn't start with the buttons yet so it didn't start the time up there um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put myself in the right spectator cam that has the right uh the wide fov as well so one sec all right, yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but I really like this wide FOV um, with this mech bubble uh, anchored position where it's it's the third person view up there. Um, but yeah, I think I can, oh, I, I can't say hi to behind me <laughs> like I can when I'm, I'm spawning into those levels in the actual game um, or in the runs, the real runs. But yeah, so basically dogs are going to come out of each of these holes and I'm going to do my best to kill them as fast as possible. And I think the, the strat here is to just knock them into each other. Obviously with big swings, the bigger, the better. Um, well, I guess faster and bigger, the better. So I can do some jabs, but most of it's going to be these long swings and overheads and uppercuts, all that kind of stuff. Um, jabs are kind of just like for finishers but yeah here we go clicking on the button and oh, we just got one we can just finish them start it as quick as possible hit them into each other oh, oh. okay start it and hit these guys Oh, shoot. I couldn't reach that guy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, okay. That just screwed up my time. I missed so many punches there. 
All right, there we go. Got all of them. Did I do it in under 40 seconds on my first try? Oh, so close. Yeah, it's that's because I messed up at the end there. So I'm gonna try it again. Oof, almost, almost. Yeah, one thing I don't like about this PC VR as well is that um, I do get a little bit of uh, quality drop when my uh, my uh, wireless connection just goes down a little bit. Like just now it happened. You can't see it as a spectator, which is great. The recordings come out beautiful, but my, uh, I guess my, my performance, my experience isn't quite as good as standalone, which is <laughs> kind of counter counterintuitive because most people think like PC VR is just so much more exceptional. Uh, but when it is wireless, you have a little bit of overhead that you got to work with and I don't have the perfect wireless setup as uh, some people do. So, but yeah, okay. So I'm going to do this again and make sure I just don't screw up that last one. Four of them come at a time. I can't reach it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, killed that guy. I feel like that's probably the best strat to just kill them when they're not. Ooh, okay, come on. Oh no, no. Good, good. Go. <laughs> Come on, all together now. Perfect. <laughs> Hitting that. Okay, smash them all here. Oh shoot, no. Okay, did I get it? You did, did I do it under 40? I feel like that was also, oh. <laughs> okay, just barely. So <laughs> if you, you just barely make the time then you can get 300 in the world that's pretty cool um and I, if i knock down 10 seconds which i mean 10 seems very little but uh i just knocked down three seconds and that was fairly difficult if i really wanted to grind to get to the top there with zephyriam up to old nurik it would be very difficult to say the least and yeah not sure if I could do that but there's that there's the first challenge the ABCs um I'm gonna go ahead and return and kind of just see what we've got here when I return it shows that I did that ABCs we got the top dog with my best right there it doesn't show the point but you get the point <laughs> And then you can also edit these particular things. You, you can't edit the official challenge, but you can go into the sandbox editor and look at exactly how the developer edited this level themselves. And you can kind of copy it or adjust it slightly and just make it a little bit better. And I think that would be awesome for if there was a bug in some of these levels, then rather than the developers being or, or the players being forced to submit bugs to the developers and waiting for the developers to fix it themselves, people could actually go in, fix it as the players, and then the developers just like copy and paste their fix and put it into the game. That just seems pretty amazing to me. Um, but yeah, so there's the ABCs. I will eventually do these other ones as well. Um, I guess ABCs was pretty fast, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out this video, but just start another one right here. Um, but yeah, so. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.